برای توی کوچه رخ زیدن برای ترسیدن به وقت بوسیدن برای خواهرم خواهرت خواهرامون برای تغییر مغز ها که پوسیدن برای شرمندگی برای بی پوسیدن Put yourself in the shoes of a young girl or young man in Iran. You're kissing your girlfriend or boyfriend on the streets and you get arrested. You get shot for honking in protest. Imagine passing by the federal building and honking in support of some protest that you're seeing on the sidelines and getting shot to death. Imagine wearing the jeans that you love and then being beaten so badly that you bleed to death. This is what we're seeing in Iran. They're just like you and me and they want their freedoms. It's overdue. And all they're asking for is our help. This current uprising is different than anything we've seen in the past. The women are on the front lines. They're taking off their hijab, they're cutting their hair. They have become the faces, they have become the symbol of this women's led movement and that's why the tagline woman life freedom. Zan zindagi azadi. In the first few weeks of this revolution, we had so many gruesome uh, examples. A young medical student, beautiful girl, thrown off of the building of her medical school when she ran up there to run away from forces uh, that were chasing her. We saw a university, a science university, equivalent to our MIT. So the best and brightest, the future of Iran, so the gates of the university were shut to trap the students. Then unmarked vans came and packed up these students and took them. We still don't know the fate of those students. We saw protesters who were shot blank right on the streets, protesting away. I mean, we saw a young man run over by a motorcycle about 20 times, trying to make sure that he died. The young children, these young women who are being poisoned by chemical attacks in the classroom to set the example that young students should not be protesting, they should not be interfering themselves or getting involved in, in, in political uh, protest. These are examples of the brutality that this government is capable of. Masa Amini was a 22-year-old Kurdish Iranian woman who was like every other young Iranian woman in the sense that she loved all the basic things that 22 year old love. She wore, you know, trendy clothing and she wore her hijab in the trendy way that secular Iranians wear it. And when she was arrested for wearing her hijab in, in a way that was more lax um, and beaten, I had heard about her then. Later, about maybe 24 or 36 hours later, I had found out that she had passed away uh, because of her injuries. She became the face of this revolution because there are so many young people who saw this and saw this at the, as the proverbial straw that broke the camel's back, as the, you know, that, that as enough is enough kind of moment where young people were willing to come out onto the streets and say, listen up world, we are united in our one message and we want this regime gone. Until the women of Iran are free, we are going to stand with you. Jian, Jian, Azadi, women, life, freedom. Because the iconic face of this revolution was Masa Amini, a lot of women, even here in the West, were cutting their hair uh, on social media in public squares to show that they're, they're, that's what they are doing in solidarity with the women of Iran. Uh, obviously taking off the headscarf, you know, refusing to wear it, whether they're going to school or, or to perform mundane tasks or run their errands, uh, or even burning their headscarves or dancing around without it or waving it in the air, the headscarf became the iconic you know, symbol of this movement uh, to say that we want freedom. And that means freedom to wear the headscarf if you want to and not wear it if you don't want to, to dress the way that we want, to speak the way that we want, to, to post on social media what we want without fear of repercussions.
The song Baroye is basically a compilation of the, the, the tweets which people tweeted saying what they would want, why they want this revolution. So they want it for, and some of the lines are, you know, for the young boy who has to eat out of the trash, or for the, you know, uh, young children who have hopes and dreams, or for, you know, the, uh, I'm trying to think of some of the more beautiful lines, but there's so many. I mean, each Iranian has so many hopes and dreams that are being crushed right now under this current regime. It's interesting because we, we come from a culture that women aren't outwardly celebrated. And now it's time. It's really time to celebrate the women of Iran. It's time. It's time for them to get their revolution.